Hi! In this video, let us learn how to take Ken Burns effect to a whole new level. First of all, what is Ken Burns effect? Now take a look at this demonstration. What you are seeing here is not a video clip but a still picture with custom animation applied to it. It's very easy to do it in PowerPoint and I'll show you how to do it a little later in this video. You can take the same idea to the next level by combining two animations where you can see that there is a zoom in effect and also a panning effect. Both these can be done quite easily using the basic custom animation. Now the same Ken Burns effect can be done much more easily when you have access to PowerPoint morph transition. As you can see here, we can very clearly zoom into specific portions of the picture and we can shift the focus quite easily and we can do so quite precisely. There is no motion path animation or any of those complex animations which are difficult to handle involved here. So morph transition makes Ken Burns effect that much easier. Now let me show you how to take the same Ken Burns effect to a whole new level using a three dimensional view. Now what you see here is a view from behind a tree through the branches and this is the title and on a click you can see the title moves and we are seeing it from a different angle. You can see a blurred effect for this branch and then we change the angle like this and we see it from a different direction and you can see how the direction is influenced by the way we look through the tree branch and this is where the text is placed. Then we see the zoomed out effect like this where we can clearly see the tree branch and our title. How do we achieve this effect? I'll show you in this video. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Now let us start this from scratch. I'm on a new slide with blank layout and I'm going to use one of the stock images available inside PowerPoint and this is the image I'm going to use. Let us say insert. Now as I always do, if I want to extend this image to occupy the entire slide, I go to crop, aspect ratio 16 is to 9, click outside and then make sure that it is expanded to cover the entire slide. Fairly simple. Now let me add some text so we can give caption to this image. Now let us understand how to create the base Ken Burns effect. All you need to do is to click on this picture. Go to animations, let me keep the animation pane open so you can see what I'm going to do. Select this image, then go to emphasis and go to grow shrink animation. Can you see? The image is growing. Then you go to the animation event, click on the drop down menu, go to effect options and here we see the option to enlarge the image to whatever percentage you like. I'm quite okay with 150% so I'm going to just leave it the way it is. I'm going to add a smooth end and say OK and I don't want this to happen too fast so I'm going to increase the duration to 8 seconds so the whole thing happens very slowly. Now when I go to slideshow you can see a still image giving the illusion of a video clip because we are expanding it and enlarging the image to 150%. Now if I want to take this to the next level. All I need to do is to zoom out a little bit using the slider here. Hold the shift and control button while I click and drag from the corner so you can see that we are really expanding the image. So this is the first step. Now along with the grow shrink animation, I'm going to add motion path as well. So let us go to add animation, go down and say motion path and you can see that this motion path by default is to the down. So I'm going to click and move this to the left like so. So the image is not just going to grow but will also pan across in the direction that we have chosen. We are going to have the same duration as the previous one so 8 seconds and the second animation which is a grow shrink animation will happen with previous and if you want the whole thing to happen more smoothly you go to effect options and say smooth start and smooth end to be zero and say OK. Now let us go to slideshow and see the same effect. On a click you can see that it is not just growing but is also panning across in a very beautiful way. 
and this is taking Ken Burns effect to the next level using simple custom animation. But this is not what this video is about. Let me show you Ken Burns effect using morph animation. Let me hit escape. I don't really want any of these animations because I have morph transition available with me. Now, the first slide is going to be showing a focus of one side of the image. How do I know what portion of the image I'm focusing on? I use this view here from the thumbnail. So I'm going to expand this so you can clearly see whatever you see here is what your audience would see. Now for the next slide, I'm going to right click and duplicate this slide. This time I'm going to zoom into this image even more while holding the shift button I'm going to click and drag this right across and let me focus on a different part of the image, maybe somewhere around this. And the portion that I'm showing is clearly visible here. Then let me go to transitions and apply morph transition. And for this to happen smoothly, I'm going to use eight seconds as the duration. Then right click, duplicate the slide. The morph transition automatically is copied as well. Now let me move this to another part of the same picture and this is what the audience would see and of course I can make the text far more visible by changing the font color to be in contrast with the background so when I go to the first slide and show the view this is the opening view now on a click you can see that I'm not just zooming in but I'm also panning the view so the viewers see a different part of the image and once I finish explaining this part, I can click and take the viewer's attention to a different part of the image. And this can come in quite handy in any number of situations. Now, even this is not the purpose of this video. I want to show you a special technique that adds a third dimension to this Ken Burns effect using morph animation. Now, what is that effect? Let me show you. I want to add a prop that would add the third dimension. What is the prop? Here in this case, I'm going to use a tree branch, a transparent tree branch image. When I searched for tree branch PNG transparent, I found a lot of options. I just took one of the options. Whenever you take an image free from the internet, it is always a good practice to attribute the site. So in this case, PNG wing is the site from where I took the branch. Now the branch looks like this. So this is the branch. I'm going to place this on the photo so that it occupies one area of the picture. Now let me close this animation pane because we don't really need it. When I see the thumbnail view, I can clearly see where the branch would appear when I go to slideshow. So when I go to slideshow, you can see that this is the view that the audience would see. Now I'm going to move this title to somewhere over here. Now you can see as soon as I moved here, you can see it is going away from the view. So using this viewfinder, I can place my text so it is visible very clearly to my audience. Now that looks good. Let me use a contrasting font color. So that is our first slide. Now in the second slide, the magic happens. Let me copy this, go to the second slide and paste this over here. Now this is where the tree would appear to the audience. I'm going to make one small change. Let me increase the size a little bit. Then go to picture format, go to artistic effects and use this option here called blur. And this is going to be moved a little bit off the angle. Can you see here? This is the position and you can see it from the thumbnail view. And let me move this title. I can always adjust the position watching the viewfinder. Now that looks pretty neat. Let me go to the next slide and let me change the position of this tree branch. Let me go here and press control V. Let me move this a little bit inside and I'm seeing everything from here and make it even bigger. Now let me move the caption down a little bit. I'm using my down arrow key on the keyboard so I can position it exactly where I want. And this is going to be on another place. Now the reason why I'm moving this is to create the illusion of actual movement in three dimensions. If you see, this picture is a two dimensional view. Now these elements that I added are adding the third dimension to the effect. Now by not just moving the tree branch, but also moving the title, I give the illusion of a 3D movie to the audience. Now, finally, let me select the first image, copy and place this over here. 
and then add morph transition to all of the slides and make sure that it is of eight seconds duration for the same reason that I talked to you earlier, which is a lot more natural look and feel. Now let us go to the first slide, go to slideshow view. This is what the audience sees. A part of the title is covered by the tree branch and that is part of the charm. Now on a click, you can see that the angle is changing. The text is coming from behind the branch and the branch is blurred out as if we are looking at the image from a closer view. And then when I click here, you can see that the view is changing because a part of the branch is coming into the picture and the title text is also moved to another angle. Now, when I show the original image, you can see it feels as if we are zooming out and we are able to see the entire scene with clear focus. Now, if you see, it's just a simple idea of adding some more elements on top of a 2D image to give the illusion of a 3D image, but the impact it has on your audience can be astounding. Try applying this to your next presentation and see the impact it has on your audience. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.